The government has subjected its proposed lockdown to a vote on social media. According to the state government, the decision was informed by the disregard for social distancing and other guidelines issued by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC and held as parts. In a tweet on Tuesday, the government asked residents to vote yes or no or neutral. As of 12 p.m. on Wednesday, over 53,000 votes have been cast. About 51.4% of respondents asked the state government to ensure a fresh lockdown order, while 37.2 votes voted against it. The remaining 11.5% of respondents were indifferent. The state government had recently threatened to issue a fresh lockdown after videos emerged of how residents we're not adhering to the health guidelines. Joining us live via Skype is Dayo Lomuwagu, a public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us on the news. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what's your thoughts? Should Lagos be back to a lockdown as the government is threatening? Should Lagosians not abide with laid down rules? Uh, so I, I think... Uh, for I look at it from two 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 angles. Uh, yes, is the is the role of the government to ensure that uh, there's security of life and property, and the uh, security also in head, head security. So uh, ultimately, the government must do their work to ensure that the lives of the people are protected, the heads of the people are protected. But having said that, and uh, 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 so so the, the, whether there's going to be a fresh lockdown or not. Uh, I mean, we, we see what has been going on. I mean, the partial lockdown it looks like it's not working. Uh, you go out and you see that people are not observing the, the rules, the, the physical distancing rule, the washing of hands and all that. So everything is turning towards uh, uh, either people don't understand whether they are just ignorant or, of this disease. Uh, or maybe the government got to do a lot of, a, 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 a lot of campaign more than what they are doing now. Or people just believe that, uh, yeah, uh, yes, we got to survive first. I mean, long time we not kill us before before the, the, the coronavirus will kill us. Uh, so between between government trying to secure the lives of the people and the people themselves appreciating what the government is doing. Uh, so if you say let's do another fresh lockdown, uh, the question is how long, <laughs> and do we have the, the, the you know how how will you take care of the people? Now, you remember the, the, the reason why we, we relaxed the lockdown initially, I mean, it was because many people were hungry. Uh, uh, they could not get money. I mean, the, so people had to go out and fend for themselves. But many, uh, in, are so arguing, that clients, many are arguing that life needs to continue. Um, how do we create a balance to see that Nigerians are able to continue to leave while also taking precautionary measures? So, so I, I think that the, the government will have to do a, a lot more are to ensure the enforcement. I mean, so you have done a partial lockdown. How is that one working? And if it's not working, why is it not working? Uh, I mean, you, you, you have your law enforcement agent and whatever platform you have to create to ensure people comply. But ordinarily, people, I mean, in this part, in this part of the world, uh, it seems that people will not ordinarily want to comply with the law. Uh, maybe because they are ignorant, maybe because they are just in that situation and they go to eat and they don't care what happens to them. So somehow, they, 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 if you go full lockdown again, we'll go back to square one. For me, I think we'll go back to square one. And after a week or so, the people are hungry again. And if the government does not have enough palliative to, to address this, then there's going to be issue. So I think, for me, I will subscribe to, yeah, do a partial lockdown, but let your enforcement uh, be, 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 I mean, do your, 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 your law enforcement say, yes, you should, you should, you should do a great work such that whatever rules you have, you know, put on ground, I mean, you, people will be able to live by that and maybe the, 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 the thing will have will be, will be, will be contained at the end of the day. But clearly, life got to continue. There is a life beyond this and life got to continue at some point. We can't live this forever. Going back yeah. forward, I mean, for back and forth. Yes, we, we, I think the government got to be decisive on what they're going to do. Uh, some people would uh, have to work definitely and go about their daily businesses within the prescribed time. What extra caution um, should we pay heed to as we collectively work towards flattening the curve? So I, I think, for me, from the angle of ignorance of the people, I think we need to do a lot of a lot, a lot more on the campaign side. On the, on the enlightenment side, we've got to enlighten people more. In short, if you go out, 
But I mean, you definitely see people who don't even believe COVID-19 exists in Nigeria. Or they don't believe it's just exaggerated. Maybe it's just 5% of the full figure we are, of the, of the, of the, of the, the, the figure that being been out each day. So for such category of people, it will be difficult to convince them. And if they are, if they are increasing in number, they're going to pollute the mind of the public. And so at some point, people are just tired and say, oh, this COVID-19, we're not even know, we're not even sure. Now, and if people see video or if they see things that make them to disbelief that this thing really exists, then we're going to get a lot more problems. So I think the government should do more of enlightenment and individual in the society, people who have people under the sphere of influence should, 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 should do a lot more to help the government. And uh, if it is possible, like we have in some other client where you actually see a uh, uh, live video or what is going on in the isolation center, uh, how uh, the people who have contacted it, uh, and we, uh, uh, I mean, if that, is, if, if that is also possible, let us make those available to Nigerians. And so we know these things are not just, uh, they are real. And so I think we, we should be addressing it from, from that side. And also, again, the enforcement. If whatever rule we are putting on ground, there should be enforcement. Maybe the first day, the second day, people are not complying. But why would you say that the government is really keen on enforcement? People will adjust at some point. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dayo Lumuagu, for your time on the news. It's my pleasure. Thank you.